Okay, let's take a second out here and uh, yeah, give you an update on how I'm doing with um, the latest Nexus oversized volume, which is called the Battle for Thune World. Now, if you tune in recently, you'll know that the previous volume was called The Coming of Gormando. That was this huge freaking book that apparently a lot of people don't even know about. I can't believe how many people are, are writing there or mentioning it to me. Um, I didn't know there was any new Nexus material. Well. I guess that's, that's on us. We have to advertise this book better. So, however, that's gonna be done. We're actually looking for a marketing genius to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. So, if you're a marketing genius and um, wanna be part of a rude dude, you get a hold of us, okay? Um, I'm here to explain today about how this strip is created. And <clears throat> normally, the script comes first, but with me being an amateur of writing, um, I do two things at once and they, they kind of go back and forth. Um, this is how a comic book is normally produced. You get a script and you get thumbnails. The script comes first, the thumbnails come second. But me being me, um, <clears throat> I tend to combine the two and they don't always mesh with each other. So I, I find myself going back and forth, back and forth uh, with the words and the pictures. So it's a very bizarre, process that I'm having to go through that's probably unique to me and only unique to me. <laughs> Who knows? Um, <clears throat> and from there comes um, the uh, the pencil stage. This is what that looks like. This is the page that's um, upcoming in the Battle for Thune world. These pencils are as detailed as I need to go. I think there's a lot of people that are uh, detail obsessive with their pages. And um, I think it's just kind of, uh, kind of a silly way to do things. They get so hyper concerned about detail um, when it's not really necessary in the first place. Um, but some guys just feel secure putting every little bit of detail in there. Um, <clears throat> I should mention that uh, most comic books range around the 20 to 24 page length in story. Well, in the case of the books that uh, that I'm doing right now, uh, The Coming of Gormando and the book after that, The Battle for Thune World, are not 24-page comics. They are 100-page comics. So I'm having the time of my life trying to find all these different ways of expanding the story into a really tense, ongoing situation with all these moments of all the right things the stories need. They need it needs a proper sense of pacing, uh, dramatics, uh, slow, fast, um, all that kind of stuff that we come to expect with good stories. And the only way you know it's a good story is if you keep reading it. After the pencils comes <clears throat> the lettering and then the inking. Now in this case, I'm doing something that apparently goes back to the, uh, the Middle Ages, which is called lettering your own comics. If I screw up, I either white it out or I paste in the balloons, which is often. But I think lettering is a lot of fun and uh, I have control over it. And that's kind of what I want with all my work. I know where the balloon should go. I know when you need to veer from standard procedure. Okay, the president's just gonna have to wait there. <clears throat> He's always bothering us at the worst moments. So that's what the inky looks like. Make sure when you're when you're doing a page, you've um, no matter how detailed you want to get, you've got a lot of a negative space because otherwise the eye doesn't know where to go. If you've got detail everywhere, you're defeating the purpose of storytelling, <clears throat> and you're actually making it harder for the reader to uh, to read it. You've got to decipher the page rather than watch it flow naturally from panel to panel. Hopefully, I've done that here. Also, these borders are important. <clears throat> a lot of people ignore these white borders uh, these days. Uh, to their own detriment. Uh, you need these borders, you need that white space just to break up things and show how these things are properly divided with that, even that little bit of white space in there. And from here, <clears throat> we just keep on working and working and working until the thing is finally done. Um, this thing is actually coming out to 101 pages. And um, I'm, I find myself always going back to the keyboard used to be a typewriter, which I'm very, very familiar with, having five years of typing in high school. And uh, in changing words and dialogues, everything is always fluid up until the, the very last minute. And even then, you can change the words by changing the words. 
So that's the where that's where we're at right now at Dude Central, in, in the ongoing adventures of the dude in Battle for Thune World. So you guys take care. I'll be giving you updates as they're needed. And uh, you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.